it's going to be the building with the largest volume of wood in the world. The largest, wow. Well, I mean, initially the client, Tokyo Marine, they would like us to use as much wood as possible, which was strange. Uh, we, we accepted the challenge naturally, but it was like, why, no? We wanted to use wood largely, but meaningfully. So we started a bit of a research into the Japanese tradition, those Japanese temples made of wood. The wooden column in the Japanese culture has a strong meaning of stability. This combined with those photos of uh, Japanese forest with cedar trees going up to 70 meters, super tall trees, those vertical forests, we came with the idea of the forest of wooden columns. It seemed impossible at the beginning. We are in a seismic country. Working with engineers, it seemed that by using a base isolation approach where the structure of the building is dissociated from the earth, when the earth moves because of an earthquake, the building just moves slightly, but it tends to stay in place. By doing that, we could really use wood for the structure. Our first reaction was to use a, a mixture of steel and, and wood for the columns in order to be as efficient as possible. But the time that it takes in Japan to certify new construction or structural approaches was so much that the client told us, do not go for the hybrid approach, just use wood. The columns in the end are very big. The biggest that we have is 2.4 by 2.4 meters. The forest of wooden columns go thinner as they raise up to the sky so at the very top the columns are one one by one meter and that mobilizes an enormous amount of wood if built today it's going to be the building with the largest volume of wood in the world.